Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome to this year's edition of the Sam Rule Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with the Chucky Doak Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm joined here with head coach Sam Rolls. Coach, how are we doing this evening? Good to see you. I'm so, doing good. It's been a minute yeah. since we've had these interviews. <laughs> Glad to sit down finally. Glad everything's back to normal now. I know you've been battling sickness. I know the coaching yeah. staff had been battling sickness a little bit too. Everything's back to normal now. You've got a lot of your staff back. How are you feeling about the team at this moment in time? Well, we're feeling a lot better. You know, defensively, we kind of, you know, kind of found our identity, I felt like, against Hampton. So if we'll continue to get better, you know, starting with Christian defensively, because that's probably the best he's played defensively. And it, you know, it just helps our entire team when you've got someone that big that, you know, can almost help everyone. Up to this point, too, the record's four and four. You got that one win within the district that we'll talk about in just a minute, that big win over Hampton. But I want to start back from the beginning and kind of go through the season a little bit. We won't touch on every single game, but we'll kind of do a quick summary of the season up to this point. You started the season against Northview. That was your Hall of Fame game. That game, I think, was one of the ones where you had your football players back, but I don't know if they were quite in basketball shape yet. I know you faced some adversity with some early season injuries. So talk about kind of group those two together with Northview and Hancock in those early season Hall of Fame games. Yeah, the Northview game, they jumped out on us like 21 to five. So it was an uphill battle after that. And we ended up losing by eight. Played much better second half. Um, Luke Myers got hurt that game. Ended up fracturing his wrist. And we're hoping he might be back after, you know, the new year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's hurt us as far as, you know, he's one of our starters. And he played a lot last year for us. Of course, Isaiah got hurt, so, you know, he missed two or three games after that. And so, yes, we've been kind of reeling, fighting, you know, sickness. But uh, once we, you know, we got our feet under, so to speak, in that Northview game, uh, I felt like we played a lot better second half. But, you know, as time goes on, you've got to put four quarters together. You can't play good for three quarters and terrible one quarter. And, you know, we've had a lot of up and downs like that so far. Hancock, we come out great. It's good, you know, couldn't play any better than we did that. And 22 points in the first quarter, 33 in the third. You know, and that's a lot of points for a nice. high school team. And I couldn't have been more pleased. But then we kind of, next game, you know, a couple of injuries and stuff like that and sickness. So when we went up there to the Hardys, you know, we got through it. So you go into the Hardy's Classic immediately after those Hall of Fame games. And the Hardy's Classic is always one of those where you face a lot of tough competition. You had Unicoi County, Happy Valley, and Boone this year. Unicoi County being a 3A team, and I believe Boone is a 4A team. Is that correct? I believe they're up there in that same conference with Crockett. If Well, didn't um, Crockett drop, though? Crockett might have dropped. I can't remember if Boone is 3 or 4 I believe Boone. 4A. I know Unicoi is 3A, and then you had Happy Valley. The one I want to ask about is that win over Happy Valley because, as everybody knows, that's a district opponent. That's somebody that you'll see two other times this year. That's a team that you'll be seeing tomorrow night up there at their place. You play them on a neutral court. You play them home and away this year. You get three shots at them. Talk about what you saw in that game that you want to kind of utilize going forward into your two regular season matchups. Well, the, the new kid, um, and of course, he could be a sophomore. I didn't, you know, I hadn't had a whole lot of time to look. But number one for them, you know, he played really good second half. Played point, ran some point in the wing. And 21 came in and did a good job, you know, for Happy Valley. And of course, they still got the grind staff kid that yeah. can shoot threes. So, you know, and we saw where they put up 70 against, you know, West Green. So we know they can score. We ended up beating them, you know, pretty good up there. But when you play it, what, 11 in the morning, it seemed like we played, it's either 11 or 12.30. It makes a difference, you know, what time, you know, these kids play. So I'm sure Happy Valley will be ready for us to come up there. It's been a district game and, you know, they're tied for first. That's what I was about to say. It's you, South Green, and Happy Valley at the top right now, I believe, with South Green's win over Johnson County on Tuesday night. It was an all district week this past Tuesday night with South Green beating Johnson County at home, Happy Valley beating West Green at home, and then you all beating Hampton at home. I want to talk about that Hampton win because everybody knows the pedigree that Hampton has within basketball. Yes. Defending 1A state champions, 
I believe had made it to the state tournament the year before also and were a Final Four team before getting knocked out. And this year they jump up to 2A. They join your all's conference. They get their first taste of 2A action with you guys here at home, and you're able to send them home with a double-digit loss. How monumental of a win was that for your program to get that win over Hampton this early? Well, it's huge. We know Hampton is not 100% too. They had two starters. It was their first game back. And, you know, they're, they're not in game shape. And it'll be a while for that, but you know, a win's a win, and we'll definitely take it. It, you know, it's a big step for our program. It, you know, as far as confidence, it's really helped our team because you know, one game we're up here, next game we're you know down. It seems like you know we can't never stay even, yeah. and maybe this will help us, you know, with the next three or four games before Christmas. That's what I was going to say too, because looking at your schedule, you've not really had a streak start yet, whether that be a win or a loss streak. You have a loss, a win, or I'm sorry, a loss, a win, a loss, a win, a loss, a win, a loss, a win. It's been back and forth every single game. With that win over Hampton too, you know the confidence has to be, or has to have risen a little bit with the pedigree that they have that I just mentioned, beating them here at home, which you weren't able to do last year or the year before. You've got Happy Valley coming up this week too, another regional game. We'll go ahead and take a break first right before we get into that. So we'll preview those games against Happy Valley and Cosby right after this break here on Grassroots Media. Pizza, pancakes, or donuts? The Davy Crockett Travel Center in Bayleyton has the cure for all your cravings. While you're there, shop our general store for souvenirs, gifts, and cellular accessories. In a hurry, grab a cold drink and a hot dog to go. Check us out on Facebook and come to Bayleyton. At Corner Pond, the friendly and knowledgeable staff has the experience necessary to help you out regardless of the need. Have an item of value you'd like to pawn or sell? Corner Pond can help. They pawn numerous items of value, including firearms, tools, ammunition, silver, coins, and much more. When you walk through their doors, you'll find well-stocked shelves full of electronics, gaming systems, fishing and hunting equipment, car audio and accessories. And don't forget about the room full of guitars and basses and amplifiers, or their outside lawn and garden equipment. Corner Pond is a case knife dealer and carries numerous used knives as well. Stop by and let the friendly staff at Corner Pond help you today at 432 East Bernard Avenue, Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Sam Roll Show where we cover everything on the court with the Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm joined here with head coach Sam Rolls. So we mentioned it just a little bit right before the break. You've got Happy Valley again. The first time that it really matters this year within district competition, and you'll be traveling up there tomorrow night, or actually tonight as this airs on Friday, and then you'll be traveling to Cosby on Tuesday for a matchup with them. We covered Happy Valley a little bit, but talk about how important it is going on the road and playing these games, because if you want to win the conference, I think you've said it yourself in previous years, you always need to steal some of those on the road. You know Happy Valley's confidence is up too after beating West Green. You know your confidence is up after beating Hampton. Whoever wins this game drops down to one and one. Whoever or whoever loses drops to one and one. Whoever wins stakes their claim as the first team in the conference to go two and zero. Oh. So what do you expect when you go up there? Well, I mean they're going to, you know, Coach Williams. They play hard for him, and they're going to get after us. We know that they like to play full court. You know they're going to press trap after they spread the floor on you. Yeah. So, you know, that's going to force Christian out. He's going to have to be able to guard somebody. And that, you know, we've really worked hard the last couple of weeks on guarding perimeter post players and helping him and stuff. And, you know, in that Hampton game, that's what I was saying. It, it come out and it showed. And it's given him another confidence, you know, especially defensively, that, you know, that, oh, it could make this team so much better. And then you go to play Cosby on Tuesday also. That's a 1A opponent that has a pretty good history at making deep tournament runs when it comes to postseason time in February and March. We've seen some of their scores this year. They look like a pretty good basketball team record-wise. I think they've got five wins this early end of the season so far. They play stiff competition every year too whenever they get into region play, whenever you get into the Hamptons, the University Highs, and the North Greens. And you've seen them knock some of those teams off before too. So. What do you expect when you go over there to play them? Well, they're so quick. You know, I remember that from last year. And they'll, they'll shoot, it seems like they'll shoot three times better at home than they will on the road. It's just unreal how well they play at home. 
you mm -hmm. know, compared sometimes to the road. But, you know, they can beat you on the road, too. I'm not saying that. But it's just going down there to Cosby. I mean, you know, it's really tough. Mm -hmm. I think that game was one where you had to come back last year, oh wasn't it? Oh, my goodness. They come out and they had like seven threes in the first, you know, within two minutes of the second quarter. Mm -hmm. It was just unreal. And, of course, we had, you know, one of those nights, too, of, you know, with our two players that night going off. But, you know, this is a different team. And, you know, this team is thriving on defense. And they've got to play, better, you know, better defense. We played UH other night and seemed like ended up giving up 11 threes. And we know that we can't trade threes for twos. Hmm. So we've got to get better in our perimeter defense and cut these threes down. You know, if we if we can cut them out, even better. But, you know, it, it's only going to benefit us, you know, instead of trying to catch up all the time. Yeah. You know, I'd much rather give up two than three because we, you know, with our inside game, it makes life a little bit easier on us. That was one game that I didn't mention in the recap earlier that I was going to talk about a little bit with those three-pointers because without those three-pointers, I think it ended up only being – a four-point margin outside of that first quarter. We talked about how the second half you played a much better ball game, started finding your rhythm a little bit more once they kind of settled down and weren't gaining that hot hand beyond the three-point line. But with that game, seeing how hot they were from the three-point line, what did you learn from that game on defense that you kind of want to implement against teams like Cosby that are hot shooting teams at home? Well, you know, Seemed like two, two of those players had six threes, so mm -hmm. three each, if I remember right. One kind of surprised me. One we knew could shoot it, the Cole kid. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got to do a better job. Once they make that first one of no more, you know, you give up nothing, you're coming out. Yeah. Because we're a lot deeper than we were. Now, some of these players are inexperienced, but they're getting better all the time. You know, we've played eight games, and eight games in, with all these injuries we've had in sickness, they've all had to step up and play. Nick Palazzo played one of his better games for us against Hampton. Now, in that back to the UH game we're talking about, we had 25 turnovers. Mm -hmm. You give up that many threes and turn the ball over it that many times, well, you're not going to be in most games. It's not a recipe for success. No, it sure isn't. So we know we got to get better handling people's pressure, especially the press. And we did against Hampton. But we know Happy Valley's going to come with the same type of defense, and they run a lot of half-court traps and different stuff like that they're going to throw at us that we've got to be ready for. Speaking of being such a deep team, too, how many seniors are on your team? There's ten. Ten seniors. What ten a heck of a senior night that's going to be. Oh, Lord. <laughs> they And, you know, this group's been together forever. Yeah. All the way back to, you know, if I'm not mistaken, Pee Wee's, something of that nature. And, you know, it's good to have it because you can, you know, it, on certain nights, just like with Hampton, we could match up. I was able to bring in Noah Bachman and Nick Velozzo both to match Hampton's size. Yeah. You know, Hampton's so big. Goodness, they're one of the biggest teams we'll play. Mm -hmm. You know, and they had one hurt with a broken hand. Freshman, it's the senior 34 Hayden's brother. And he, if he, he may be bigger than his brother. Wow. That's going <laughs> to be. You imagine both of those two together yeah. after Christmas or whenever <laughs> out there. So it's good to have, I know, I know 10's a lot of seniors, but it's good that you can bring those players in to match up other teams and give you an opportunity maybe to win that night. Yeah. And it'll be much different going forward playing at Hampton again, like you said, if oh, they get goodness. that back and if they get their Especially football players into shape. But at Hampton, too. Yes, that's where you've got to go next, yeah. and they'll be healthy then. So that'll be a date I'm sure you've got circled on your <laughs> calendar, too. But the one you've got circled most right now, tomorrow night with Happy Valley, that'll be a little bit after this airs right now. So if you're watching this right now, you probably still got a little bit of time. Head up to Happy Valley in Carter County and watch the Black Knights play the Warriors. But Coach, that's all I've got for you right now. Thank you for sitting down with Thank me. Thank you. As always, good to come down here to Lower Afton and talk about Black Knight basketball. Thank you all for watching this week's edition of the Sam Brule Show. Look forward to seeing you next time here on Grassroots Media.